Today I will be risking life and limb, or even worser, for aesthetics. If I get this wrong, 12 whole volts of yeah. electricity could surge through my body. Count them. All 12 volts. Causing minor discomfort and almost invisible electrical burns. <laughs> I wouldn't even feel bad for you if you did this shot. <laughs> Anyway, the purpose of the video is mm -hmm. uh, we have these light fixtures in the kitchen, yeah. which we really haven't liked from day one. Well, I didn't like the gold accent inside. Yeah, they started they started just like this with gold accent on the inside, and then we painted the inside black. Yeah, to get, what, just to get rid of that, because that was the only thing that would cover up the gold at first. Yeah. And then I was able to go over that with a metallic silver. So yeah, so now we're metallic silver, but still not our favorite no so we 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 have seen on the alliance group on the okay. facebook group where people have changed these out it seems pretty easy mm -hmm. to do but almost everybody is still going with the with the rod the the pendant yeah look so we decided to go a little bit differently yeah i'm gonna try something new all right we went to um menards and got these light fixtures and menards is not everywhere no, I'm glad we're back in Menard country. I love yeah. Menard. So it, it's like a Home Depot or a Lowe's, but um, I'd say they have more lighting options than any other kind of hardware store yeah. ever. This is what we are going for. Yeah, and we're hoping that not only will it look better for us, but we're hoping that it'll make this feel a little bigger of an area because you yeah. won't have this hanging down. Now, I know it's different for me and you, obviously. Yeah. But even for me, I feel like it's somewhat invading my space. Yeah, and, and as this ceiling starts to slope this way, so yeah. this one hangs down a tad bit closer. even further. Yeah. So for me, so for you, it it's only a couple inches yeah. above my head. Yeah, and I just think it would just open up the ceiling space so much more that we'd feel like you gained space, but you, you know you didn't gain yeah. space. But I'm excited to have a different look than the average change up. Yeah, well. I like to be different. I'm not super excited about doing it, but I am you excited. You want me to do it? Because no, no. I'm not scared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid of 12 volts. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see what the end result's going to look like. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. All right, let's get to it. All right, don't screw it up. Jeez. No. <laughs> All right, we're going to kick off the power to the RV. And then we're also going to turn off of the battery. because power is still coming from your battery to that 12 volt outlet and just by turning off the power to the pedestal um, you could still get shocked so I'm not taking any chances well I'm very curious to see what this looks like on the inside so I see the wires now I just have to pull that out I guess a little bit and see where the connection is all right so on our fixture we have the black the white and the ground and on theirs they have the black and the white um, no ground but you can see that the black runs into the green so really the only thing we have to remember is when we're hooking up the new fixture is hook the black to the green and the white wire and the white wire to the white wire but we're gonna have to cut this because these are already cramped so we'll cut these um, we will um, unsheath a little bit of the wiring and then we'll connect that up and put the uh, electrical nuts on there well <laughs> there's no turning back now <laughs> thanks yeah <laughs> okay I couldn't film a whole lot of that because um, I needed Leslie's hands to help me up here but um, we have the black connected to the green and white, and we have the white connected to the white. This is the ground wire. It will, once I push this up here, it'll connect to the uh, to the ground screw up here. We had to have this bracket on here because the last one was just mounted straight into the wood, but this one, as you can see, the base of this is a lot wider. Um, but the fixture came with this, 
uh, to go ahead and, and put up there. That way we mount here, these holes will line up with, with this and then it will, um, it will mount in there. Halfway. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, I'll be curious to see what it looks like with lights in there. It's different and you can definitely, like, it's more see pass through. You know, yeah. it's like there's nothing blocking your view anymore. I like it. Yeah, and that's the one that hung down the farthest too, so. Yeah. Uh, I think it's gonna look good. Yeah. All right, on to the second one. Let's get this done so we can kick the air conditioner back on. It is hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who are watching who are Alliance owners, or if you're thinking about getting an Alliance and you do get one, we were told that these light bulbs would never even come out of here. But now that we have um, uninstalled this and I'm screwing around with this, you look on the inside of here, it looks like it's a, it's a light bulb. It's actually not this uh, piece of what looks like light bulb. It's just a plastic covering. And if you jiggle that enough, that'll come off. And you just got this plastic covering. And inside there you have the um, the LED lights that are absolutely replaceable. So if you have a light that goes out in your kitchen, if you're an Alliance owner, that's how you do it. All right, moment of truth. Is it wired correctly? <laughs> All right, hit it. That's the wrong switch. Uh, kitchen island. Sorry. Kitchen island. I was like, that should not have happened at all. It's like, I did really, really bad. Holy crap. Uh, I, mean, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> okay. All right, hit it. Wrong one again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you need me to do it? Do you need me over there? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was new, wasn't it? And I was like, oh, I'll pull that one. Oh, okay. All right. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Golly. Hey, hey, we got lights. All right. Uh, what, did you have like a mini stroke or something? I don't like, it took you three tries to get the right <laughs> I'm, I'm button. Just, my back pain has <laughs> caused me not to, <laughs> to think right these past two days. Yeah. Um, so what do you think i like them yeah yeah much better much better i think more space here yes i like the openness of this like i, can, <laughs> I just like that i can see across yeah. and, and when like, i'm on that side i can see the whole microwave there's like nothing blocking my view yeah and we, we didn't throw these away yet because i wanted to see the difference between how far down these go it's like a whole versus dome. the old ones yeah it's about a foot really of extra space and even more so down here that one was because lower. it slopes down so i think all in all it works good uh yeah. at mm -hmm. least i didn't i didn't get shocked no, no. i didn't catch anything on fire no and I, I really thought that i had royally screwed up the wiring because <laughs> when i said hit the lights and <laughs> you hit the switch and all the lights in the rv went off and i was like <laughs> I didn't do that right at all. Uh, no. uh, and then I hit the second switch and then the LEDs <laughs> come on here. I'm like, oh man. Uh, but it wasn't me. No, it was me. It's all me. <laughs> I'm entitled to one bad day. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's over. Me too. I'm glad it's done. Yeah. Um, and these globes are easy to change out. We were just talking about that the other day. Yes. So if we want to have different options, I know you are And I always, probably will at some yeah. point down the road because I like to change things a lot yeah. and frequent. 
So and there's only so much you can do in an well, RV. Yes. Like you can't is. rearrange your furniture or rearrange no. your living room. So little things that you can switch up that are inexpensive are yeah. good. So in a few months, I'll be in a store and I'll see some kick-ass dome and I'll be like, ooh, let's change it out for that now. Yeah. So like I said, these were only like what, ten, bucks. ten bucks a piece. Yeah. So for twenty it's, bucks, you can change the whole look. If yeah. you want less light, you can get like a more contained globe. Yeah. If you want more light, like you can open, have the open cage yeah. like we have. Yeah. Um, and, and I wanted to mention too, these light bulbs are hard to find. They are hard to find and I'm not liking that. At, at Menards where we went to get the fixtures, they didn't have these. Yeah. And so... And it's we, hard to find really in any store. Yeah, we looked on the, on the forums, the Alliance forum, and I asked yeah. the question. And a lot of people said they couldn't find them, so they just ordered them on Amazon. We we tried to order on Amazon. I ordered the wrong twelve the wrong ones, ones, the ones that don't screw in. But we uh, did uh, stop by Lowe's here in Cheyenne, yeah. and they and, have them. Yeah, I was surprised. I didn't think they would. And they only had like four. Yeah. In the whole store. So, yeah. So these are the these are sixty watts, but they're twelve volts because this is running off a twelve volt system, so that it's a twelve uh, volt screw in bulb. Yeah. So that these lights will still work on your battery, but. Um, these burgers are hard to find, man. Yeah, but they were cheap. They were just under five bucks a bulb. Yeah, so not bad. Um, but you can definitely find them online too. Yeah. Um, so that's it for this uh, installation process. All in all, it took about half hour for the whole installation process. Yeah. And the first one always takes longer because it's your first doing it, and then when you figure out what yeah. you're doing, the second one went a lot faster. And everything takes a little longer when you're filming, also. Yes. So we were doing filming, we had the time lapse going in the filming, and we were talking between different uh, parts of it yeah. on camera. So it took us a little longer, but even with all that, about a half about hour for everything. Yeah. And it wasn't terrible. Yeah. Um, it's very easy. Yeah. See. And if I think it's easy, yeah. it's easy. Trust me. You can do yeah. it. That, that is a fact. <laughs> but turn all the power off, because the last thing you want it's is a minor burn, your... <laughs> or even worse. Yeah, you know that. Twelve volts running through, surging through your body. Yeah, like major organ damage would come <laughs> from it too. <laughs> Catastrophic. Yeah. So like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is down here in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.